Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're gonna share it with you guys a coin that I waited two years to buy. Uh, it was really hard to track down, but finally have it in my hand. I'm gonna show you guys that in this video. And we're also gonna share with you a lot of cool buffaloes that we got in and how to set up coins if you want to uh, get them reconsidered um, or if you wanna send some in raw and are trying to go for an upgrade. But let's get this video started. I hope you guys enjoy. So a little bit of backstory on the Stone Mountain, which you're about to hear a little bit more of. Uh, basically, my dealer friend, he sold this coin uh, two years ago, and it kind of, you know, once he sold it, it kind of went into a guy's collection, and he knew I really liked it, he knew I, I wanted it, and uh, he never, never really would offer it to me, and then one day it just disappeared, he sold it to somebody, and so... I was kind of bummed about it, you know, I really had the, I had the money at the time, um, I really wanted it in the collection. Um, it's just one of the prettiest stone mountains I've seen personally. Um, and then, a few days ago, it ended up popping up on eBay. Um, I talked with a guy, he ended up overnighting it to me, and now it's in this video. So, um, kind of the purpose of me talking to you guys about that is, uh, you know, if you guys want something in life, sometimes it's just the process of getting there. Um, I know like two years ago, I, I just, you know, I only had like five or six coins that I was working with at the time, trying to sell and buy and uh, make my dreams a reality. And then now that we're starting to continue getting some momentum, it's just been a really, you know, really great time. And, uh, you know, a lot of those coins that we were scouting out are now kind of sitting in our collection and then we can also progress on that. And so uh, I hope this guy inspires you in some way. Um, I know that you guys can't get every coin that you want. Um, I know you guys are getting a lot of coins that you do enjoy, um, but there is a time, there is a place um, for you to get a coin like this. Um, it just has to be, uh, you know, in God's time, I guess. Um, but let me show you guys some coins. Uh, enough with the chitter chatter. Um, let's get back to the video. Alrighty, so to start the coin uh, adventure off here, we're gonna start with the Stone Mountain Commemorative. Uh, this coin, coin's great, MS63 uh, by PCGS. Very hard to show you guys the color on this coin, but let me show you guys the true view in the meantime. Uh, the true view is pretty nice on the coin. Uh, it's just not in the perfect light to show you, but um, yeah, I waited on this coin for about two years. So uh, the story behind this coin is basically Neil Bodana, which is one of my dealer friends. We meet up at Grapevine you know, every few months. He submitted this coin back in on March 8th. Uh, actually got it back home March 8th of 2020. Um, he sold this coin for $500 as soon as it was uh, basically offered to the public. I really wanted it, but I couldn't afford it. And so uh, it was a very unfortunate time for me, but it really gave me something to chase, something to run after. Uh, I was very fortunate um, in, the, in these past few days. Someone actually uploaded on eBay. Very happy with this coin. I hope you guys like it as well. Now let's move on to some buffaloes. So last week, um, we ended up picking up these four buffaloes. We had uh, you know, someone that offered these on Facebook. So when you guys are actually looking for coins, you, know, you want to go to shows, Instagram, Facebook, uh, eBay, auctions, anything that you guys can get your hands on to find the nicest coins for the best price. Uh, we bought uh, th these from a man named John. He is actually over a, a coin group called Virtual Coin Show. And when I got these in hand, I was very happy with them. Uh, his photos weren't too great, but I had a hunch that these colors would be good on these buffaloes. But let's take a look, look at the first one here. This is a 1925 uh, Buffalo Nickel Grade MS64 by PCGS. You know, I like the subtle blue hues to it, and it has kind of like a golden rim around it. Uh, you know, it's just something to give it a little bit of, uh, you know, a character definition to the coin. Just like we've been talking about in previous videos, you can kind of see a little blue and brown off to the back leg of the buffalo. But, you know, a nice 1925, uh, you know, I think the I think the strike's a little bit weak on the coin, and there are a few carbon spots on it, but uh, other than that, still still pretty cool. I do enjoy it. Um, and we got these for a pretty affordable price. Um, here's a 1926 uh, Buffalo Nickel graded MS64 uh, by NGC. Uh, I enjoyed this coin a little bit because it has, you know, that orange or fiery look to it. I've really been only buying... Uh, buffaloes that have been you know over the 30s date so 30 to 38 D 
Um, and so getting in the 20s is really kind of a, a step for me. And so uh, this coin drew, drew to my attention just because, you know, when you're buying all these from the same dealer, um, sometimes you just get a better deal. So I ended up buying all three of these coins and then this one I just asked for a better price. Sometimes that's the best thing to do, um, especially when they're trying to move a lot of inventory. Are you guys enjoying this video so far? If you are, please smash that like button. Uh, it really helps us out a lot. Helps us reach more people um, and get the word out of what's what's been going on uh, with our business and uh, what kind of coins we've been running into. Uh, comment your thoughts down below. What do you guys think so far of the video? Um, it's you know we're trying to give the best information that we can to you. Just stuff that we're uh, we're starting to learn over time. Um, but also subscribe if you're new. Uh, new videos every week. We hope you guys uh, enjoy this one. Now let's get back to the video. Uh, when you take a look at the reverse here, you can kind of see that orange uh, going on uh, the reverse and a little bit of a, a gray look to it. But, you know, it, it just depends on what color progression that you guys really like for your buffaloes. Uh, I think this one still is pretty neat. Um, before I show you guys this one, this is probably the coolest one, uh, coolest buffalo that I've ever, ever held. But uh, let me show you guys this 1930. Uh, this 1930 Buffalo, great MS65 by uh, NGC. I like it because it has kind of a weird uh, color progression on it. It's got a blue, orange, and red. Um, the luster is kind of strange off in front of the face, almost like it has a streaking to it. But, um, you know, when I, like I said, I want to find something for my customers that have kind of an interesting look to them. I think this one really does take the cake for kind of the most... Um, you know, interesting, intriguing thing to study just because it's not really, um, you know, a gradual progression. It's kind of spotty, but I still enjoy it a lot. Um, and this coin right here um, is a monster. Now, let me pick it up for you guys. So, hey guys, do you want awesome coins for your collection? Do you want raw coins, graded coins, Morgan dollars, buffaloes, peace dollars, anything that you guys can imagine? We have that on our website at kushacollectibles.com. Come on over, stop by. We'd be happy to sell you some coins. Happy to ship them out next day. We're here to serve you. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to interrupt this video to tell you about it. But let's get back to today's video. Uh, we, we saw this coin, like I said, on Facebook, and I saw the star designation. And basically that means, you know, I appeal. And so, uh, you know, I didn't think it would be this crazy in person, but as you guys can see, the luster on this coin is I mean, it, it's immaculate, like it's 67, 68 immaculate type of luster. Um, even when you kind of compare it to these two right here, it really just doesn't compare. Um, and so I really like this, this luster on this coin. I didn't see too many problems with it. There's a little nick right below uh, the date there. Um, it's going to be pretty hard to see, but uh, the, it has some color on it as well. You can kind of see some purple to the back of the head there. Um, blue on uh, the rest of the face and then kind of like a yellow gold uh, right where Liberty is but when you flip over the coin still has some really incredible luster on the reverse uh, it has some orange blue and a little bit of a hint of green and the holder is pretty untouched as well but uh, let me show you guys what I'm gonna do kind of to set up this coin um, and try to see if it can get an upgrade uh, when we're looking at comps for 67 pluses I think they're in the two thousand dollar range um, in a PCGS holder, and I think in a 68 in a PCGS holder is around 22,500 bucks. I don't think that's going to happen in terms of a 68, but uh, we really do want to give it a shot. Um, we have the coin in hand, and we really want to learn more about upgrading. Uh, sometimes the graders get it wrong, and I want to see if they got this one wrong. But let me show you guys uh, this kind of setup. So there's a first coin, and there's a last coin of every sub. And so, uh, say I'm trying to set up a coin, uh, what does set up actually mean? So, I'm going to show you guys in just a minute, but uh, there's a really good buffalo that I want to submit that I think could go 67 plus, uh, possibly 68. And uh, what I'm going to do is actually put some coins in front of that coin. So, when the graders actually get to that coin, they're going to say, oh wow, this coin is amazing. We need to give it uh, a spectacular upgrade. So that's something that, uh, you know, when you're setting up a coin, that's basically what it means. You're going to basically going to have a few pawns that go ahead of it. And then uh, the greatest palette's going to be now pivoted and, sh and shoved towards that coin and say, you know, uh, you know, it's pretty hard on the other coins, but this coin's very nice. Or 
Uh, you can take it any way that you want it, but that's kind of the gist of setting up a coin. So the way that we were actually talking about earlier when I was seeing you guys face to face is that we set up coins. Um, so when they get to the last coin or the last coin in kind of the series that we're trying to send in, um, they'll just see it as the best candidate for an upgrade or they'll just see it as the most, you know, premium quality in terms of its luster, um, its strike, everything about it really does scream like it, it should deserve an upgrade. And so what we actually do is we put a few coins ahead of that one just for uh, the coin graders to see um, and then possibly give us an upgrade. And so uh, we have these kind of numbered out in certain orders here. We have 67 and we wrote four on the holder. We have 67 and three on the holder, uh, 66, 67 plus and two on the holder, and then another 67 plus with star on the holder. Basically, this is just uh, saying uh, we want these in a particular order and which ones would fit best. Um, and so what we would actually do when we're sending these in is we would start off with number four, just because it has the lowest likelihood of upgrading. It just felt like it was the one with the weakest strike, um, had the most issues on it. And then we felt like this last one here had uh, the best chance of an upgrade. And so what you want to do really, you know, if you wanted to send in a coin like this one to get a shot at an upgrade, you would just tack it on to the rest of these buffaloes. And like I said, what does that do? This one has a, a, not as a good strike um, or it has issues with it. You can kind of see a little bit of weakness in the cheek there. Uh, the luster is still pretty decent, but not my favorite coin. Now if we move down to this one, we can see this one has a really good strike. Um, luster is still intact, mainly on the coin. Not many hits on it. And so we're sitting pretty here. And so we already took a deep dive on this coin right here. But like I said, luster... Um, strike everything about it really screams like it would be an upgrade candidate and so whenever they actually get these in they're gonna pick up the first coin the first coin is gonna be this one the last coin is gonna be this one and so uh, you know it we don't really know how much that will affect the grading um, but we really do kind of want to get in the graders head and give them an opportunity or give us an opportunity to score a few upgrades if we can um, like I said, it's really not something incredibly that will change the grading process, but it will give them kind of a, you know, a study lesson. You know, we give them a crappy coin and then by the end, they're going to see a good one. And so it's going to be interesting to see how these all pan out, but that's kind of how you set up coins. You can either do this raw or you can do this uh, with graded examples. And the reason, the way you can actually do that, right, is if you get five graded examples, um, you can actually send them in for reconsiderations at NGC, um, or you can send them in for crossovers at PCGS. Um, and so what we're going to do with these most likely is we're going to send them over for crossovers um, and try to see if, what PCGS will do uh, to upgrade these coins. Wish us luck on this endeavor, um, but we hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video, um, and we hope you guys enjoyed uh, the Stone Mountain. Um, it really is an incredible coin. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like. Um, that really helps us out a lot. Uh, you know, just gives us more momentum um, for, for future people that we can reach. Uh, comment your guys' thoughts down below. What do you guys think about setting up coins? Is that ethical? Is that right? Um, or do you guys think it's okay? Do you guys think that the graders should be on top of it? We would like to know your thoughts on that. And uh, what do you guys think about the Stone Mountain? Uh, it's pretty cool. Very happy with it. Um, it's really going to be nice next to that Cali. Um, and subscribe if you're new. Uh, we want to see you guys here every week commenting, uh, you know, hitting that like button, and also just interacting with us. We love interacting with you guys. Um, but without further ado, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.